Mr. Mr. Chairman, Ms. Mulvaney, it's good to see you. Thank you for joining us this morning. Um, I, on the screen, uh, I would direct your attention to a tweet uh, from the President that he wrote in 2015 which, as a candidate, which reads, I was the first and only potential GOP candidate to state there will be no cuts to Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid. Huckabee copied me, unquote. As I'm sure you know and as Mr. Moulton has already asked you, uh, this budget would cut all three of those programs, breaking that promise. Uh, along with many others that have already been broken, so the track record is clear. And that threatens the health and dignity of seniors, children, and people with disabilities. The budget would cut Social Security by $72 billion over 10 years, Medicare by $266 billion, and Medicaid by $1.4 trillion. And I know you referenced in your answer to Mr. Moulton that you don't cut benefits for any of these programs. Well, I beg to differ because you do cut benefits for more than a million households in Social Security, Disability Insurance, and SSI, which affects more, more than a third of whom have multiple individuals in those households with disabilities. In cutting Medicare, you can argue that you aren't cutting benefits directly to patients, but the provider benefit cuts make it far less likely that providers will continue to participate in the Medi Medicare program, diminishing the quality of access to health care that, uh, that seniors have and also the diversity. Uh, you know, in many places in this country, you know, going to a specialist and then adding a sparsity of providers who are, are participating in Medicare is really, really a challenge. Um, I represent, as you know, the state of Florida with the largest percentage of seniors in the country uh, by population and so these cuts disproportionately impact our seniors. Um, the Social Security disability cuts will make it excruciatingly more difficult for people to qualify for SSI. And I don't know when you were a legislator if you ever helped uh, a constituent try to get through the SSI and that disability process, but it takes years, uh, which is insane to begin with, uh, and now you will make it even harder. We're talking about an extremely vulnerable population. So I, I'm trying to understand why President Trump broke his promise to the American people and frankly if you're going to raise the issue of our deficits and debt um, that doesn't hold water given that you added 1.5 trillion dollars to the deficit in the tax cut scam bill that you uh, that the President Trump signed into law at the end of last year. Thank you Congresswoman. Um, a, a couple different things in response to that. Um, Lowering drug prices, which is what we do in this in this budget, doesn't break that promise. Ending the abuse that you and I have both railed against that pharmaceutical companies commit in the way they price drugs within Medicare doesn't break that promise. It's, I thought it was something we could both support. Putting a cap for the first time on true out-of-pocket expenses for seniors in Part D doesn't break that promise. I think it's something we could all be able to support. For the first time, introducing a zero copay for some needy seniors in Part D okay, does Mr. not Mulvaney, break that promise. None of those things, all, e you're trying every to single distract, one of those things is in this budget. You're trying to distract from the fact that the President promised, I'll direct your attention to the screen again, specifically that he would not cut Medicare, Social Security, and Medicaid at cl that the in writing. Black so you think lowering drug prices for seniors is a bad idea? Uh, no. What Good. I'm saying is that Good. I would look forward to your support for these programs. Mr. Mulvaney, what I don't support is when the president makes a commitment to the American people and breaks that promise. He specifically said here that he would not, as president, cut any of these programs this budget does cut all of those programs and directly targets the most vulnerable recipients who participate in those programs. And there's no denying that. You can point to other window dressing things that you have put in this budget, which on top of that further explodes the deficit. 